Welkom bij de livestream van uh, Fast Moving Targets. We zijn vandaag in Den Haag, in het theater aan het Spui, waar vandaag en morgen de Border Sessions plaatsvinden. Het International Festival on Technology and Society. In dat kader interviewen we mensen hier aan tafel, mensen die hier spreken, mensen die hier toevallig zijn. En inmiddels is aangeschoven mijn eerste gast. Could you please introduce yourself? Yes, I'm um, Daniela Steinberger from Frankfurt, Germany, and I'm working as a human geneticist. Um, as a physician for human genetics um, on the one hand and um, I'm also working on IT solutions for for using the genetic um, information. And, and what does a, a human geneticist do? Yes, we are um, looking into the DNA of persons and um, we are looking for the things that are coded inside um, this molecule and um, we are trying then to make a prediction concerning certain diseases or um, whether drugs are working or not. Yeah. So, is this something that was possible 10 years ago or is it really new? Um, well, in principle it was, but um, not on such an elaborated um, level. So, um, things are changing extremely fast, um, especially in genetics. Um, for instance, um, 10 years ago it wasn't possible to identify the complete Um, genetic code of a person and now we can do that um, for several hundreds of euro. Um, ten years ago it was um, more than more than a million dollars so things are changing very fast here. And, and why is that? Why is it changing so fast? Well, the development of the ha hardware is um, incredibly um, dynamic um, so um, the change of um, the technical platforms is faster than um, the prediction of the chip development um, as it is expressed in the so-called Mo Mo Moore's law. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's faster than uh, Moore's law and well um, this is good on the one side and on, on the other side um, we need to develop in the same dynamic solutions for handling the, the large amounts of information that we, the we are data. getting. Yeah, yeah. To, to, to use to make the data useful. So. Yeah. This is the challenge um, yeah. in the moment. So, so at the moment, you're, you're, well, you can gain a lot of data, data. Yeah. Uh, but you can't really uh, work through them, or we, we can. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, the the number of things we can is increasing. But um, indeed, um, we can look um, onto a lot of genes or into a lot of genes um, um, in, in in one step. And um, for selected um, information, we can deliver a lot of targeted, um, useful um, recommendations that can be concretely used in a clinical practice. Um, but only um, if, if certain information structures we are de developing um, are used. <laughs> This event um, here today is about um, the way technology shapes our future. Yeah. Do you feel your um, work is in is important for the future. <laughs> yes, um, of course, yeah, of And course. And in what way? <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think that things we are developing today um, will be a routine for everybody in, let's say, 10 up to 20 years latest. So, um, a routine in what way? Um, that everybody um, has access to their own DNA code um, to make decisions, um, better decisions based on that. Um, if the individual has decided to, to do that. So if you don't want to do that, yeah. there, there are already persons um, in the world that don't want to use the internet, so this is a personal decision. Um, but, um, well, my, my estimation um, is that it will be used as in, in, the, in the same dynamics as the internet um, is, is used today. Yeah. And, and what can a normal person do with its DNA? When I would know my DNA, what would it... Yeah. What, what would I be able to do with it? Yeah, so it could um, prevent you um, from taking drugs that make the situation um, worse than the disease you, you have, yeah. so toxic reactions. And the fact is, um, as a physician, you can't discriminate um, from where symptoms are. Um, more than 90% of the events that occur um, in, in, in a drug therapy 
are not recognized by the physicians. And for 90%? good reason. Yeah, more, more than 90%. And um, we have in, in Germany a law that you have to report that as a physician. But in fact, a, a very, very small minority is doing that. Yeah. So people um, get drugs and they don't work. And, well, th this is the best case if, if they are, well, it can be also bad, of course, if, if a disease is not treated. Um, and in fact, it's not treated in some situations um, if you have a certain genetic constitution. Um, but even if you have toxic reactions and you have severe problems, it's not always um, so easy to understand that um, by what it is caused. It's not so obvious uh -huh. um, to, to state this. Um, this is one point, and the other is you can have um, symptoms that are not so obvious um, and um, you, you think, well, I have this and this is my fate and, um, and then you can discover there is a certain cause for that and probably you can do something against that. I, I know that from my own experience. Um, I, I had more than 15 years um, certain symptoms and, and problems and had no idea what the cause was behind that and I have found that out for, for example. Yeah, be because you, you tracked your own DNA and it, yes. it showed you yeah. there was something wrong. Yeah, well, I, I would not express it so hard, what, what means wrong and <laughs> right. Yeah. So, we, we so have it was a, something different. <laughs> it's different, yeah. so obviously we are different <laughs> yeah. and not everything is um, good for everybody. And uh -huh. um, this is the point, you, you can try to get a better understanding of, of your body um, if you have some insights. Yeah, so that will mean that in future uh, probably medicines will be made more, uh, well, for, for certain persons, more... Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, so now, oh, now at the moment a medicine is made and it's given to the whole, it's the whole group. One size fits yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. one size fits all. Obvious, obviously this is not the best thing. Um, we, we know that since um, a lot of years that um, for, for instance, some medication does not work for, or uh, does only work for 30 up to 60 percent of a certain population. So nobody is talking about that, but this is a reality. Yeah. But it's not so easy to to see it directly as a physician in your routine. Yeah. 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 It's only the surface you are looking. On, yeah. On. Yeah. Probably because you only see a small amount of all the patients. Yeah. 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 That yeah. another thing. Yeah. 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 Um, well, it sounds wonderful, of course, that that uh, we will be able to, to help more people in future. But on the other hand, probably uh, uh, medicine will become more expensive. Well, um, because it's <laughs> you, you target it at a smaller yeah, group. It depends. So um, since the hardware and information technology um, is developing very fast, um, things are also getting cheaper. Um, I mean, um, to have the power of a computer um, comparable to, to such a smartphone, um, 20 years ago you, have, you, need, you needed a lot of money and now you can, uh -huh. a, a private person can acquire that. Yeah. And um, this is the same in this part of, of the medicine. So um, my hypothesis is that the costs are dropping down for the analysis. Probably it will cost a new, uh, one euro or two or nothing. But um, working with the information um, will have a higher value. So um, the, the information will not be complete in, in the next 40 or 50 years. So mm -hmm. this is a continuous um, process. exploration um, yeah. process. Yes. And of, of course, this is time consuming. But yeah. not to look at it is probably more expensive. Yeah. But the, but the process of analyzing the data, so the, the DNA will become cheaper. But yeah. that doesn't mean that making the medicine will become cheaper and if you have if you make medicine for for a smaller amount of people yeah yeah will it be yeah. beneficial yeah well in the moment um the situation is already there there are um small groups of patients with raw diseases yeah and um so there are several situations a pharma company is not interested to to produce yeah. that yeah. Yeah. But in the meantime, they are interested since the conventional pipelines in the development of the pharma companies are empty. Every sub substance that um, could be invented or explored um, is already there. And they have a problem with, with new drugs. So they what are looking... What's the next? <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. the next? And um, the next is... Um, well, they, they feel the pain, of course, since it is a fragmented 
yeah. um, market. Yeah. Um, but if you have a global look on, on it, it could make sense. And um, some pharma companies are also um, specialized um, to look on these raw disorders. Um, and, well, obviously they are alive and they are earning money with it. Yeah. 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 But it's another, it's a paradigm shift. Um, yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. So, will the future only be good, in, in, in your opinion? Will, will, will only good come out of this? Yeah, well, the, the future is only um, so good as the persons that are dealing with that. So I, I can do wonderful things with medical um, interventions, um, but I can also hurt persons. I, the same with words or any instruments yeah. you, humans are using. Yeah. You can use it for, for the benefit of persons and you you can use it um, for egoistic um, goals. So yeah, because when you know your same. your DNA, you could could also make a selection of healthy, strong people and people who yes. have. But the question is whether I need DNA for that. So to dis discriminate persons in a negative way, yeah. um, you can make sexing or you can say, well, I don't like um, certain heart colors. So uh -huh. this is. In principle, the problem with, with human beings, yeah. they can treat simple things to make good things um, and they can use instruments to to fulfill bad um, yeah. plans. But, but are you, um, or do you feel that there are, there that we now, because now we're still, well, it's, it's going really fast, but it's still yeah. the beginning, you could say, um, that we need to, uh, well, come up with certain rules to prevent it from for going the wrong way? Yeah, well, I, I think these data are not so exceptional um, as it seems to be in, in the first moment. So um, my the, the data that um, are stored um, by my physician, if I am a patient, um, they are also critical data, uh -huh. and yeah. I don't want yeah, that but a lot of people worry about that as yeah, well. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they do, some, sometimes they, they, they don't. don't. <laughs> Someti sometimes they, they post it in social media. Uh -huh. So this is not the problem. Sharing information is not the problem. The, the point is, I, I, well, this is my personal opinion, I think the individual should um, have the ability to make a decision. And if I have to be analyzed with my DNA and somebody wants these data, I'm not amused, of course. No, no. But um, I have made the decision for me, I want my data. So this is my code. I, it's the same thing. Well, I want to look into a mirror. Um, sometimes it's, it, it's hard for me to see me in the mirror, uh -huh. but I want to have the decision to, to see me, my body. I, I want to to check my body weight or my, my blood pressure. So yeah. it's my body and I, I yeah. want to see which kind of data can be produced with that yeah. and how how the feeling is to understand on that. So this is my personal experience yeah. and my, my decision. But where where are these data stored? Because I, I could, could imagine yeah. that everyone is, is feeling okay but if you just get the information and take it home with you and put it yeah. somewhere safe. Yeah. But if it's stored somewhere... yeah. Well, you can store it in a smart way. So if it is um, anonymous, it's it's boring data. You can see, A, there's a DNA account, and you can see, well, oh, there's a human being with um, DNA data. So this is not very astonishing. Mm -hmm. So my, my credit card information is much more interesting, interesting. For, for hackers. So <laughs> yeah. this is not the point. Um, and um, in fact, we have the technical basis um, to, to get access to these data. But I, it's hard to get the access to my personal health records from my physicians that have um, treated me before. To get the piece of paper um, and uh, the That's test results yeah. I have produced, um, it's, it's really, I have this experience. It's, it's hard to get that and this is not okay. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm an, as a patient, I'm, also, I'm the most important stakeholder in the system. But um, still, the data are handled in a very paternalistic um, way. And mm -hmm. physicians are saying, hey, these are my data. No, these are the data of the patients that are investigated. Yeah. And I, I think with the DNA, ta da DNA data, we, can, we have a pioneering situation also, um, how we can um, deal with um, 
medical um, uh, body associated data. Do you feel the general public is aware enough of what's going on? Uh, more and more. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm, since a few years, I'm I'm really amused to read the three-letter work DNA in the in the lay press, um, and it's in, increasing more and more. And um, you don't have to explain what DNA is in these times. Well, in detail, of course, but um, most persons have a certain idea about that. And yeah, and this is changing very yeah. fast. Also. Yeah. So is it, is it is that good that everyone knows what's going on, or, or do you? Were you happier when you could work behind the scenes and, and, and just do your thing? No, it's it's great to to share knowledge. I, I think this is a, an enormous opportunity. Um, it, um, it can change um, the development of the, the speed of development. If if we are sharing things and um, do not have data silos and monopolies, things are moving faster and. And these are great times. We, we have the technical opportunities to do that um, with the IT infrastructures, with the internet, and so on. Um, and so this is um, um, this is a prerequisite um, to 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 move. Um, sharing data and working with data will change how we how we will do um, how we will proceed with with medicine. I think. So, what will the future look like in say? 20 years time so um, it will it's it's hard for the physicians um, and and it, it is hurt it, it hurts but we will have to give up our priest role and the magic um, yeah. things around that in a, in a way as human beings we need this also of course if we have to support persons in with with their history yeah. it's important to be there as a human being um, but um, sharing the facts and the special knowledge um, is changing our role as almighty priests. Um, we are competitors um, as um, information service providers. F physicians are also information service providers and we have a very strong competition with the internet and we, can, we, we cannot win this um, <laughs> challenge, of yeah. course. Yeah. And, and this is hard to accept for, for us as physicians. Yeah. But um, I have changed um, that mind for me since I, I know we, we cannot win that, that race. I, with my poor brain, I cannot win the, the race against the internet or any encyclopedic um, knowledge. Um, yeah, but. Um, so, would you still recommend yeah. anyone to, to, to become a phys physician? To? to become a physician, <laughs> or do you say, well, because you can't win, and when everyone knows has yeah, their data, you, you, you can. <laughs> yes, of course, you can win as, as a physician if you accept that the roles are changing. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's interesting to work on on these um, changing roles to to discuss things with patients that probably have a bit of information that is better than the own one. Um, to, to discuss that, to deal that, is not easy, but interesting, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Oké, okay, tot zover um, dit gesprek. Um, we zijn straks weer terug met een volgend.